Well, that was awkward. Hi, everyone, <laughs> and welcome. That was Robin dropping something. Uh, but it is that time of the week, which hopefully you look forward to. It's time for another Hello Style Live. It's an hour of real-time shenanigans with myself and my amazing co-host from Sexy vs. Skanky, Mr. Mike Cannon. Yeah. Woo! Oh, thank you for the applause. <laughs> that's the first time that's ever happened. Uh, and if you haven't watched Sexy vs. Skanky, it's a show on Hello Style channel. Uh, check it out. It's a delight. It is a delight. Tomorrow is going to be fantastic. It's all about Halloween, and it's got everyone's favorite uh, guest star, Glamo. Oh. I cannot say his name without singing it. I know. Every time I In hear his way, name, I just get rock You hard. just chub up. <laughs> well, tonight's show is all about... <laughs> We're there already. <laughs> Did you expect anything else? It's me and Mike. Come on, people. <laughs> right, tonight's episode is all about model lessons on perfection, because I think the word perfect is something that we all strive for in varying degrees, whether it be at work or at school, in our personal relationships. It can be really, really tough. So this show is all about you guys. We really rely on you, particularly tonight, to really drive it with your questions, your anecdotes. So get involved. We're going to put out the first question right this second. Question one, everybody. Feel free to answer. Please do. <laughs> What risk did you take that you thought you would regret, but it actually turned out to be a success? So hopefully you've been watching, but if not, if this if you're a virgin to the craziness that is about to ensue, the way to get in touch with us is via Twitter. That is at underscore hello style using the hashtag hello style live. Or you can write to us right underneath this video, and uh, we'll be reading. Well, Mike here with the yeah. iPad Mini because we're moving up in the Our world. Our budget is getting big. <laughs> exactly. It's fantastic. Big guys. like your heart. Yes. So uh, make sure you keep those fancers. It's a thing. It is now a thing. It's Hashtag official. fancers as well if you're a fan That's of right. that word. So we want to know what risk did you take? You thought you would regret it, but it turned out to be amazing. Tell us all about it. Inspire us. Maybe make us feel a little bit crappy about ourselves. Yeah. Right? And uh, while we're collecting your answers, I want to introduce our guest. Yay! Sophie Sumner. Woo! Oh my god. <laughs> we just met and we're already like jinxing. So <laughs> it's such yeah. a pleasure. God, we're so um, yeah. on the same wavelength. This is Great. Well, Sophie, you're a relatively new member to the Hello Style family. I am, I am. Thank you for so, having me here. Of absolutely. course. Yes. so cute. I love it. Well, new set, yes. new guest, new topic. We brought a pop of new color just for your life. arrival. New iPad, new sadly. IPad. Same old sense of humor for new me. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, just, uh, just to get uh, acquainted with Sophie, she uh, won Cycle 18 of America's Next uh, Top Model. Yeah, and, Next uh, Top Model. Oh, <laughs> and yeah. she's well, gangster. She also came well. second, which is pretty much first, in my opinion, on Britain's Next Top I Model. I mean, it is the first loser. Thank you. <laughs> that is a favorite quote of ours. <laughs> and this, but that, that's impressive. It's Seriously, amazing. You should almost go back to get third place and just hit for the cycle. I was going to say, I just might keep going each cycle. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> right? next time I'm on number 10 place. Woo! Yeah, just no, I just go for number 3 and then you can just have it like the Sophie Sumner trilogy. Oh and then before yeah. you know it, you know, maybe like, JK Rowling. Like 80 or... years old. What the hell? Can we please get her off that model? I'm like, oh, Well, yeah. we would like to officially welcome you not only yeah, to our set, Thank but so to the Hello Style family oh. in general. Of course, yeah. You host the uh, new weekly show. It is weekly, hey, correct? Uh, hello, Street Style. Yes, mm -hmm. 3 p.m. every Friday, Friday, I believe. She does a fantastic job. I'm sure, you can, I'm sure you guys already know <laughs> how amazing. Time. <laughs> um, and so, I mean, being a model, I guess, I mean, people kind of think <coughs> that being a model is all about mm -hmm. being perfect. I'm sure that, I mean, I'm looking at you and I'm thinking, this girl is pretty damn close to perfect. Um, but I'm, sh I'm sure you don't always feel that way yourself. So, no. uh, um, of course not. No, I think um, I think the modeling is a really tough industry, as we all know. And what I can say certainly to, does. as we all know here, right? It's been a rough I mean, go since my <laughs> Sears catalog days, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like you also, you know, reading all the magazines and stuff, you constantly are bombarded with images of kind of these of what everyone thinks is perfection. I think my number one thing that I learned was airbrushing. Yeah. You know, airbrushing is everyone's best friend and I don't think there's probably an image in a magazine that hasn't been so much airbrushed. So for all, you know, everyone out there that's reading all these magazines, they're like, I need to be this and that. It's, you have to realize it's almost something you're realize. looking at isn't exactly. actually like that. I see that. pictures of myself and I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> like, <laughs> that smoking, that hot smoking hot buzzing so it's definitely not me when see, I wake up in the morning. So. That's the funny thing. It's like, as a guy, it's almost like not even looking at the actual woman anymore. It's almost as if I'm right? looking at a cartoon drawing. Yeah, right. Have you seen the, the beauty adverts and campaigns and stuff? And I'm like, yeah. where are her facial features gone? Yeah. Yeah. So, there's <laughs> nothing left anymore. It's just so perfect. Just, yeah, blurred perfection. Um, we're also going to play, I guess, a drinking game. We are. We are. 
we, we absolutely will. It's called uh, Never Have I Ever. Although oh. a few weeks ago, as if you saw the bloopers from Sexy vs. Skanky, I thought it was called Well, I Never! And yeah. everyone gave me shit She turned into it. an 18th century British judge. Well, this is what's awesome, because now there's two accents. British I and Australian, know. so you can't just focus all the teasing uh, on me. Being, I'm being Thank bombarded. You. I love you. <laughs> Marry me. It's legal in Jersey now. Congrats. <laughs> Fantastic. So basically, this is uh, this is with a twist. We're gonna do a mistake. Do I start drinking now? Or you can that? for sure. I've been <laughs> drinking so since the moment. You have to stop drinking go. first. <laughs> uh, so mistake turned success twist. So for example, never have I ever gone to a cocktail party, gotten wasted, but still gotten an intro to an industry exec and landed their contact information for a follow up meeting. Well, that's exactly. a really lot of that is what I, what Listen, I'm just reading the gobbledygook they put on this goddamn So have you done part. that? Is that what you've done? That is not what that I've is done. Not yours. As, as, as a matter of fact, I'm going to come out with the first never have I ever. Okay. It's uh, never have I ever been sober at an industry party. So you've always I've been always, drinking. I've at an always been party. drinking. Yes. Oh. So if you have been sober, oh. you need to drink. Lindsay, how, how ironic! Lindsay has been playing this game for years. I think we can tell by the glasses. The yours is pretty one. full, whereas we're kind of <laughs> already going down. On to clarify, I've been playing it for one year. One year. <laughs> that doesn't make it any better that I still Children don't know. Children who have never seen this earth have learned to walk in that amount of time. <laughs> it's true. Well, no, I've never. I've never what? I've never not been. So I'm so <laughs> confused. But I've I, never ever not, but never have had done <laughs> drinking in a party. Is I almost just saying? threw up trying to follow that <laughs> sentence. So you've never been sober. I've industry. never been sober. And you've I never feel... been sober at industry party. It's a tough one to do. <laughs> but I, <laughs> but I am. Uh, it's gatekeepers you that have. you don't necessarily so have anything in common with, but they right? hold the keys to what you need exactly. to do. So, yeah, so exactly. Yes. All the more reason so to be focused. No, I need to lube up and show them I'm a good time if I'm not like you know I've done daytime meetings where I'm not drinking and I'm like well this is <laughs> it's all very oh, really excited, like hello it's lovely to meet you and then suddenly it switches and everyone's like yeah let's do a TV show together woo uh, yeah exactly I mean you know when you get a, a few drinks in together suddenly your ideas sound much better yeah, right. and then they just remember you as and the idea like you guy a lot more surprisingly as well which yeah. is exactly how Mike and I end up doing this um, I wasn't sober during this audition process really no, we auditioned together yeah, no. oh okay <laughs> More on that later. Um, all right, so Sophie, I know all of our um, fans that are watching, are big fans of yours, which is probably why they're watching. It's not Aww. for this disaster right here. Wow. <laughs> that, 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 I, was, I was. I was pointing at both of us. Um, so let's do a quick speed round so okay. that people can get to know you a bit better. Because also being a model, people want to know your secrets for being so amazing. So in 10 seconds or less, tell me your favorite face wash. Uh, you know, keep it simple. You can actually just use soap and stuff. You want anything with the less perfume. That's it. Everyone goes for the really expensive products, but just the less perfume that you can get in a product. So, like, Dove soap. Perfect. Okay. Uh, no, not perfect, because we're not aiming to be perfect on this show. We're telling you <laughs> how it's okay to not be perfect. Body lotion. Uh, cocoa butter, so I can smell like a tropical coconut all year round. You do smell delightful. Thank you. Workout routine. <laughs> oh, okay, that's a tricky one. Walking's always good and free. Uh, walking around shops is also, window shopping is good and free, but I Oh my god, you're like Carrie Bradshaw. Like, right? I'm like, da, da, da. <laughs> But I did start doing Bikram yoga, and I don't know if anyone's in New York. Is that the... It's hot, 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 right? Hot, yeah, it's huh? really hot, and you feel kind of good, and it's really depressing, because there are like all these super old people in front of you who are super flexible. So I kind of stand at the back. I had to leave the last one. It was so embarrassing. Oh. Take myself out. I was like, Ooh. see, that's what good. I'm embarrassed really for. Good. I would do yoga because it sounds cool and it's very zen. But I can't that's even touch I, my yeah. toes. So you just know, to go in as an intro person, it just feels. And weird. then you maybe try the well. class first. Yes. Like first class, and everyone has to at the end they clap you and they're like, "Well done, Sophie, on your first class." Oh, 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 class. Yeah, right. That exactly. sounds nice. Dog. Uh, okay, hairstyle. Uh, messy bedhead look, definitely. Just wake up, sea salt spray. Really yeah. cheap, easy. Um, and your favorite perfume? Oh, uh, I like Chanel, but I did have a little story where my friend recently uh, had a one night stand with a uh, gentleman, and she used his <laughs> Febreze in the toilet. Under her arm. Nice. Yeah, wow. actually, and I met her later the day, and I was like, oh, that's a nice I <laughs> see, She told me, and I was like, said, oh, my God. Until Lindsay just said awful. under the arms, I was convinced she sprayed her vagina. No, I, no. I, I told you that you could get 
vaginal deodorants that Summer's Eve makes. So, okay. but I think Femfresh, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Femfresh Summer's Eve. But I think if you spray Febreze down there, that's just a yeast infection waiting to happen. <laughs> Do we have any fans? Uh, well, well first, uh, I, I wanted to talk about uh, my, this new Cosmo article. Oh, okay. That, uh, that my girlfriend brought home the latest issue, November. Girlfriend. Girlfriend, and by that <laughs> no, I mean no I November? bought it at the bodega. By that he means he and Rob have a long-standing joint subscription <laughs> to it. We we actually share the iPad app. Very romantic. Hashtag Rob. get Rob on camera. Hashtag get Rob on camera is right. He is wearing an adorable little newsy number today. He looks so cute, uh, like oh. a chimney sweep. And hey. Sophie has there been friends with Rob for a long time. There is not a hair on your body below the waist, is there? It's just unbelievable. <laughs> Sophie has been friends with Rob for a long time because they worked on Britain's Next Top Model together. So I'm hoping Damn. that she will be able to convince Rob because we failed every oh, single so week. He's so handsome, yeah. everybody. Oh, it's fantastic. Gorgeous. So let me, guys, let me get back to this article. All right, all right. This article. <laughs> all right, so she brought, you. she brought home this Cosmo magazine, as she's one to do, and uh, she left it open <laughs> on a very interesting page, uh, page number 122. I believe Miranda Kerr is on the cover. Yes, and by she believe, is. I mean, I know. Ozzy, Ozzy, and, Ozzy. Uh, in, uh, she, it was talking about how uh, powerhouse women who have made career mistakes. Okay. I guess. So, uh, what, what do you girls think about that? It's just it Miranda kind of, was saying this. Or it, it wasn't about her. Oh, she was okay, just on the cover, yeah, but it was just speak. about kind of high-profile women who have had a lot of career success, and it was mapping kind of like their little downfalls that they've had throughout their career, kind of to give a little insight into people that think, oh, that, that must have just went perfect the entire yeah. way. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of kind of, up the, especially in comedy, I'm sure with modeling as mm -hmm. well, and I know in your career as well, there's these little brief successes that you're almost like, I'm not even going to believe that it's good because you know what's coming next is possibly a down. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. just these, it, it's the nature of the business. But uh, care to share any? Well, I mean, uh, you're our guest. I've done reality TV twice, and I was actually, they asked me to do America's Next Top Model, and people would be like, why wouldn't you say yes to that? But there's a, you've got to think <coughs> about these things. There was a big stigma when I did Britain's Next Top Model about reality television. And especially in London, like, no, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. the, all the fashion brands, nobody kind of wanted to touch you a little bit. Oh, wow. Really? But, yeah, no, it's true. So, I wouldn't have, okay. But then even now, with thanks the to like behind it. Even, sorry? Uh, even with like it was Tyra Banks behind it. No, well actually Britain's well, Next Top Model that was when I was eight. Another Aussie. Oh, what is God. this show? An endorsement <laughs> by kangaroos and fosters? And she doesn't age. She is fantastic. They call her the body for a reason. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. They do never. So I had to make a kind of big decision doing America's Next Top Model. I was like, do I go back into reality and thank God for the Kardashians? Because oh. literally, them doing reality TV has made it so much more acceptable. They made it acceptable? They made it acceptable. Well, think how many followers they have. And now, all the companies out there, they want to use models who have followers. Or, and that's why all the bloggers are becoming so big. So like people, I didn't go to college. So people that are like thinking about whether they show go to college or not, I would think really think hard about like starting a blog and getting a following. And, right. like, that's your way into an industry. And all the bloggers are booking the modeling jobs as well. And it's more, They're it's, slowly crawling over. Yeah, and it's much more <laughs> constructive than just you know writing nasty tweets to your favorite celebrities. Exactly. Write, write a blog. Yeah. Right. Um, I have to refresh the iPad. You have to refresh here. the iPad, but uh, we actually have a special Hello Style VIP fan. We do. Used, Yay! Yes, and she used the the VIP community, which guys, if you're not already part of it become a part of it because we love connecting with you guys. That's what makes this job exciting. It's what makes it fun. And it's what really makes us strive to want to do better. It's for you guys. So make sure you check that out. Um, she actually submitted her question via our Google Plus VIP cool. community for nice. you, Sophie. Aww. So meet Sophie Bang from Norway. Her handle is what well, should be on the screen right now, at 97Bang. And she wants to know... 97Bang. So yeah. Good one, handle, yes. So uh, she wants to know... And she's your namesake as well. She wants to know my bra is showing. Uh, she wants to know, <laughs> Sophie, how is your sleeping schedule? Is it hard to get enough sleep since you are a model and an international model at that? So you've got London, New York, yeah, anywhere else, Asia. Um, yeah. yeah, sleep. <laughs> <laughs> humble brag. <laughs> 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 Hashtag humble brag. Sleep is uh, <laughs> sleep is limited. Eye drops are my best friend, literally. And also, I don't not because she's guys, a massive pot head. And not because <laughs> no. And also, I don't know if you guys know, but with eye drops, you can put them if you've got a really. This is what someone actually Rob taught me earlier a minute ago. Is that you can put them on spots, and they if you get de-reddening eye drops, really? they can also de-redden your spots. Now I think that's really? genius. So in the morning, when I've got no sleep, I'm like this all over, just like wherever that's the eye drop is. Did you also know that if you pour it in your drink, it'll give you diarrhea for a full day? That is a that lie. So it's a healthy weight weight loss. 
Wow, sports so we've got that we should be the new like spokespeople I for know, eye drops. Right? We're like weight loss, spot treatment, plus get rid of your night eyes. Did you ever yeah. use the uh, like um, I used to work super early mornings before going to oh. film school and I would use the hemorrhoid cream. Oh, I've heard about, about this. Yeah. Yes. But I did well sometimes that too if, you know, <laughs> I, my diet was a bit out of whack. But um, no, but I used, I stupidly <laughs> thought I was doing the right thing by using like the skin colored one. <laughs> I, you know, I'm a dark, I'm a dark skinned girl. She's got really light this, pink, <laughs> this pink rubbish under my eye. <laughs> well, at least it looks tired. Yeah, but it looks like you have some veins <laughs> protruding from your oh eyes. Oh, it just grew ass boils under your eyes? So, yeah, what you're supposed to do is, yeah, use the hemorrhoid cream, but use the clear. So that's right, your we, little takeaway. Good point. We have, a, uh, we have some fancers, if you will. Hashtag fancers. <laughs> yeah, yes, fan answer. It's something I coined. Lindsay really hated. You I don't really hate. Well. You should copyright that. It. It right? It's huge. It's pretty good. Okay, for stuff. those of you who were watching the episode when it was born, please write in and defend me that I didn't hate it. She immediately was like, if that becomes a thing, I'm going to be real <laughs> pissed. I'm going to throw what? this damn boomerang around the room and hit you right in the temple. <laughs> that was like a bunch of accents at once. Um, so we have an answer uh, from uh, from It's Emma Elise, we, uh, our, our fave gal. Yes. She is a VIP fan, which I will give you information on how to become one later. She's the glue that holds us all very precariously <laughs> together. She's gorilla glue. She's fantastic. So anyway, her answer uh, is something that she gambled on and enjoyed, and it turned out into a success. When I started playing lacrosse, I was clueless, but joined a team, fell in love, and was a natural. Hashtag fancers. I appreciate Nice. Thank you, Emma Tilton. By the way, I loved your braid on uh, Selfie Style in Google Plus the other day. It looks amazing. All right. Well, that's between you two. So it's anybody... actually between us and the entire community. If you were more invested in this, you would know that. <laughs> Fair point. Okay. So Jasmine Wirtz also wrote. Hey, uh, Jasmine. Hello. Yeah. She dropped out. Of, she dropped out at one school and thought her life was over. And then I started in a new school, and it is the best school. That happened to me as well. Me too. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's so nice. And you come back and you're like, yay. To quote Mike, let's triple kiss. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm sorry, what? No. <laughs> yeah, all right. I, know, I, I tried, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have a few more. We have Ministry of Makeup, which that's a that's fantastic cool. yeah, that's awesome. slash threatening Sounds name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she wrote, when, when I applied for, I'm assuming it's a she. I don't know. It could be a he. Uh, when I, please write in. Tell me if you're could a guy be a Harry well. Potter fan, Ministry of Magic, Ministry of Makeup. So Ooh. also tell us if nice you're into Harry. Chandra. See, a nerd. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> she wrote, when I applied for a job at MAC Cosmetics thinking I was guaranteed to fail and regret it, but I ended up getting it, it ended in, in success even though I wasn't anticipating it. That's so, fantastic. Yeah, it's something she went out of her way to do, it, not really knowing what you know was going to come of it. Throw yourself in in the deep end. Exactly. It's going to pay off. Do yeah. you guys have, uh, yes. like Mike, with comedy, for example, I know you, so Mike's plan was that he was going to be a uh, professional basketball player. Yeah. Didn't work out that way. Didn't because pan out. Turns out I'm white and slow. So. <laughs> no, you had a hernia. And... I, I did. I, I mean, I was playing basketball in, in college my first two years. <laughs> And uh, I, I'd, I'd always been the funny person. Like, I, I just always wanted, I didn't, never even knew comedy was a job you could do to make money. I always thought that I would just it? be a funny teacher. <laughs> no, not really. But I, I, I always thought I'd be, like, the funny teacher or a funny cop. Like, Aww. that's how dumb I am. I'm just like, oh, I'll just be the funny version of every other job. <laughs> so, but as soon as I got hurt for playing basketball, I just, I just started boozing and doing comedy. And so that was a huge, you know, gamble. That was fantastic. And, you know, it's... It's got me on YouTube. That's, that's right. Well, I mean, for me, last year, I was just, you know, I had moved back to, I'd lived in New York previously, um, hosting, I'd been hosting for a long time, I was back home, I was in a job that was, you know, the job itself was okay, but I was being, like, bullied, like, the people were just awful and so unprofessional and just the worst, and I was like, you this know what? This is terrible. I know, <laughs> but you know what? I Now I feel like I need to send them, like, a really nice gift basket because they made me just go, my heart is in New York. Sadly, yeah. my visa and my job is not, but that's okay. I'll figure it out. I sold my house. I sold everything I owned, my car. I said goodbye to all my friends. I got a wow. one-way ticket, jumped on a plane, uh, lived with Brian, and got my shit sorted, and it paid off because sure I'm did. happy and healthy and working with you amongst other things. It's definitely about, like, taking that leap. I was but in I mean, the UK. Looking I... back, that was kind of stupid, coming to America without a visa or a job, like the most difficult country in the world to get a visa from. I'm like, oh, we'll be fine. I had one before. I'll have it again. But it worked out well, thank God. Yeah. I'm not saying I'm you should be. now. I'm sorry. Have you right. got your visa? Yeah. <laughs> I do have a visa. I, I am legal. I'm sorry. You cannot have me deported. 
<laughs> what <Yeah>. are you? <laughs> no, I mean, it was just a big leap of faith coming over from the UK. I've literally, I grew up in the countryside. It was like sheep and ducks and all that. There was nothing there. I don't know where, how if you guys grew up with that as well. <laughs> Maybe. No, 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 okay, I just grew me. up on the beach. <laughs> and then, oh, it was, so, that was pretty nice. I just nice. grew up in an erratic household. Yeah. My <laughs> dad left. <laughs> it's a touchy subject. Feel free to make fun of it I for love, it. I love when that comes up. My dad left. It sounds like I was like a four-year-old waiting for him. At the <laughs> he was a 24-year-old. 20 years old. Oh, Penny, you showed his dad the door. But I think it's good. I think you've definitely got to, you know, if you really want something, then just take that big leap. And even yes. if it seems really bad at the beginning, it's going to... Yeah. Yes. But I, I would say maybe put a little more research into it than I did. Like, I'm talking, I literally just booked a ticket and got on a plane. I'm, I'm like, like, that, I'm like say things. yes to everything. Yeah. Sometimes say yes to everything. Takes. Sometimes you need to kind of throw yourself into it so you, you have no choice but to commit. Yeah, exactly. It's true. That's true. Uh, do we have any more we, we have a, answers? We have Q2. Let's go Q2. <laughs> All right. Well, so to that end of what Sophie, Mike, and I were just talking about, uh, what is the biggest change that you're currently working towards so that it can improve your life? So use the hashtag HelloStyleLive. Hit us up on Twitter at underscore HelloStyle or right here underneath this YouTube video. Sure. And tell us what do you want to improve? Maybe it's a New Year's resolution that you're looking to put into effect next year. Maybe it's something that you're working on right this second. Uh, this is something I really am interested to hear the answers to. Because should we start? Should we also? Because I'm sorry. I just cut you off. That's quite a, all right. I'm just saying I'm really... <laughs> I'm watching a married couple. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's quite amazing. Um, and so definitely married because we've never had sex. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm just it's missing brutal. my five just carat... blue balls this entire time. I'm now. just missing my five carat <laughs> Tiffany wedding engagement ring. Um, but no, I mean, I, I have to no admit, question. like, over the course of this year, I've been getting more and more attached and invested with um, our fans, particularly thanks to the VIP community. So I'm really... I don't know, Mother Hen Lynn's here, wants to hear your story. So tell us what you're working towards Thank improving you, in your life. Maybe we can give you advice, or maybe we will just really feel like crap about ourselves because we're not doing anything except having another drink. Having another, yeah. Oh, well, that, that actually calls for another round of, of uh, well, Never Have I Ever. Never okay. I, have do I have one. You have one. All right. And I'm sorry that all of these are related to like the film fashion TV industry, but... That's all we know. Um, what we do, gang. Never have I ever walked out of an audition or a casting and not immediately started shredding myself for, you should have done that, that oh, was rubbish, God. you didn't get the job. But that's just not film and TV. That's like a job interview. Like my friends who were coming out of college and stuff and going for job interviews, do you know what I mean? Or it and could be like in come school, out. coming out in of... school of a test and oh, you just yeah. go over and over and so, you're like, why did I write? So you need to have something... Wait, so, so wait. she doesn't drink because she has done the same. She, wait, hang on, this you, is confusing. You, you oh, so you drink. So you, I drink because I feel I like felt, you always drink. Here's though, the thing. So I don't know you, if this well, is you, like you're a true you, kind of perspective. You caught on to my tendency. <laughs> uh, am I okay? A little sound, a little, little baby sound. Behind so you're like back. me. You'll walk out of a casting or an audition and just be like, I blew it. I'm not going to get a call back. I was like every that after time, this audition. Oh, 99. Every 99.9% of the time, that's true. But after actually this audition, I walked out thinking I there's no way that I got mm. it. But I walked out just being like, all right, I said a funny joke. I'm not right for it. I didn't Ryan Seacrest it. No, I think I'm it's definitely as well. What I, oh, okay. what I learned to cope with it is what goes around comes around. So if there's a reason you didn't get that, there yes. is a reason why you didn't get that. And it sounds really kind of, oh, yeah, man. I wish you had put your hands. I want to cheese you. Yeah, right. sorry. My mom, I said it. My mum has been putting up with me in this industry since I was like 12 or 13 years old. The Woo, number of labor over here. The, rush, the <laughs> number of disappointments and rejections that she's had to deal with. Him. I mean, <laughs> no, but I mean, it's incredible that my mum doesn't have like some kind of Xanax dependency with me as a child anyway. But then me, like in this industry, so I. But I yeah. really do agree. My mum would always say it to me: like, "You didn't get it for a reason. It's because something else, or that show was going to exactly. flop." And Every time she's been right. And it's actually, actually I walked out of the audition with you and I was like sitting and waiting and then the casting goal came out. I was like, okay, you can go home now, Lindsay. And there was still like some people waiting. Yeah, I was yeah. like, well, I blew it. And then a week later. See, I, 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 I waited a long time to hear back. So I, because it was like a month later and I was just like, yeah. Cool. And it's that, the that. waiting. It's like if you have a test at school or whatever it might be, just that waiting and how do you get your mind off it and you're just like, oh, God. Yes. I think the Everything key, reminds. I think the key to not walking out and judging yourself and freaking out is uh, knowing that you didn't get it. Because, like, or just yeah, in totally. your head. Like, I, I found a lot of, like, solace and ease in the fact that I walked out of the audition to, to do this job of just like, yeah, no, I didn't get it. I'm not, yeah. I'm not right for that. I, I love how you had souls and I went home and I was just like, wash no, away the shame. Should, like, go over the it for shame a little bit. That's fine. <laughs> just like go over it. And then it's literally you need that friend to come along and be like, stop now. 
you spoke about enough. I'm really bored of you. Well, see, this Let is the thing, though. I don't you know talk I mean? to my friend when I'm up for something. Cause they I'm don't so, tell them because I'm so scared. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm so not going to get it, and then I'm going to jinx yeah. it. So then I'd much rather be... That was be... a beautiful moment. It was, wasn't it? Was just like, I know. I felt like there should be hearts coming up. Do you know what we are right now? We're like the UN of Cosmo advice. Yeah. America, Australia, England. And we have some more We have some more fancers. And we have some fancers. So you guys are the... The what? The... Fans. The, 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 the Yodas. I believe that's the name. I was going to say the world over which we preside, and then I realized just how Hitler-esque that sounded. But it's too late now. Lindsay cannot Ooh. not bring up a huge tragedy in every single episode. There is going to be some mention of mass murder, genocide, some sort of thing, and it just brings it around to fashion. It's very well done, seriously. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so we got some fancers while Lindsay is uh, is cleaning up her makeup uh, from W D Gypsy. Hey, um, a new fan. Yeah, they they said getting a job so I can save money to attend makeup school. That's what I do with modeling. modeling. I had a part time job. I worked in a restaurant for four years. Yeah. And I was literally going straight from castings, and I go and I try and be all happy, clappy, like serving, like as whatever for your dream goal, whatever you can do in the meantime. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And so what was your what was your dream goal? My dream goal was to do um to do hosting, to do presenting. Ah <laughs> yeah, to kind of to work that route. But like even just do, doing the waitressing and mm -hmm. then like meeting people and being able to be sparky and talking sure. to people, yeah. even that helps. So even the side job you're doing will probably like help in your end goal as well. Yeah. Unless you want to be like, I don't know. No, like, you're crazy actually, out there, like, I, I but used it to does wait kind of as well and I felt yeah. that it helped like it was almost like a crowd work practice. Right, Every exactly. time I was there, because I'm riffing with new people, I'm trying to get them to tip me. Yeah, <laughs> like it's, exactly. It's, I'm lovely, literally lovely, dancing for my dollars. Yeah, yeah. And, that's awesome. But I just, I just quit uh, my day job recently, so now I'm a full time comedian. Yay! Is, Yay. Yeah, all right. Cheers. Oh, we're doing a lot of cheersing tonight. There's a lot of love in yeah, 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 yeah. It's delightful. <laughs> so, I'll tell you with that. It, it is. I mean, our show, Mike. And I lived in. I lived in, or lived. I worked in an office, which was, you know, soul crushing and very difficult because oh, I was just the taking The stories orders. though were yeah. fantastic. Oh really? Yeah. I mean, I'm filled with a lot of rage. Very. But like, that's on great. A your routines basis. and stuff, right? Exactly. You can like bring that in. I have and a kind lot of, like... of uh, I have a lot of jokes about burning down villages. So. But and I'm, I'm the weirdo because I have, <laughs> because I somehow find relevancy in mass murder and serial killers. Of course, yeah. And Harry Potter. I think the two of you make a great couple. No, I mean, don't encourage couple. our viewers. Don't encourage our viewers. They were, Mike they were, and Lindsay should mate. <laughs> yeah, they're like, when are Lindsay and Mike gonna get married? I'm like, oh. Well, isn't that sweet? But the chances when are becomes... we just get engaged and then she <laughs> skip <laughs> off. <laughs> We have some more fancers. Yay! Uh, we have Maya Baxter. Thanks, Maya. Hey, Maya. She, uh, she wrote the uh, biggest change to improving your life. She wrote, my acne. I'm getting into acting and really need to eliminate these pimples. My doctor <gasps> gave me some really good medicine, so slowly but surely. No, I had awesome. the worst skin, and I was doing modeling, and I go on shoots, and people were just like, oh, you know, they're putting makeup over you. It was so, it's so soul-destroying when you have, like, really bad skin. And actually, I tried everything, and the one thing, I had to do Accutane, so you go to what? a doctor, do you know Ooh, that? It's, yeah. it's hardcore, but it's it generally, I know it might not be the right thing to say, but it generally cleared everything well, up. Well, it's okay, because, yeah, she's been to the it's doctor. It's like, and yeah, got it sorted, so, and like, but it is hard, and also, yeah. Because they, I had a, um, a girlfriend, well, a, a co-host that I worked with back home, and she had adult acne, I think, which can be even <gasps> worse, because you think, oh, oh I'm you think point. you're over it, and then it just comes back for round two. It's yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, and one of our producers, who admittedly was... Was Satan in fashionable? She was the Devil Wears Prada, really. Like she was this fashionable, amazing woman who was just the biggest bitch you've ever met in your entire life. And she took my co-host into a room and started berating her about why is your skin like that? What are you doing to do? Yeah. And just no, so shamed her and it actually set, yeah. made her go off air for a couple of weeks until it cleared up a little bit. Well, good for so, you for taking steps. Yeah. To yeah. Exactly. It. You know what you want to do. You certainly got the clear path to you know. Definitely. To and it, it will go. Improving. It will oh, yeah. go. Yes. Yeah, Mine was sure. awful. And it the medicine will go. that they have now is so ridiculous. Exactly. And it that, happens like, quickly as well. You don't even need are to you do it, like, uh, I don't know how to refreshing. Re I didn't so, even know how to do the, I mean, the older. I'm like, what is that giant iPhone? That's how not right? to yeah. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I got so big. All right, so we gotta move through these uh, these fancers a little bit. Okay. We gotta get to all of them because yeah. guys, thank you very much. We're very appreciative of the fact that yeah. you're sending all these in. Uh, we have Iris Hernandez, Aaron's hey, Iris. sister. 
And um, she and wrote sister. Aaron's sister. He's uh, oh. up for murder. You know, New England Patriots <laughs> tight end. I knew that. He wrote, uh, uh, or she, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm working on combining my clothes more differently but still fashionably and getting more skinny and eating more healthy to fit clothes. For sure. I just right. juiced. I've been juicing lately. Oh, you so, have? Yeah. yeah. I, I did something today. I don't know whether I should say it. I did, you did I it. say it? If you don't say know, it. you should say so it. So I had a really, you know what it's like, you have one of those crazy weekends, it was my friend's birthday, it was all like drinking, and then the next day you're like, oh, I feel so bad, of course, I love the golden arches, McDonald's, yay. <laughs> all right, so today I was like, God, I'm in so much pain, I actually went and got a clonic. Mm. Oh, okay, one? no. It's amazing. Oh, yeah, I really want to, though. No, it's so worth it, apart from it was really off-putting, because this lady was like, I've done a million of them, and she did me, and she was like, oh, my God, and I'm like, oh, no, this is not a good look. So I'll, and it's awful, I'm like, what is going on? Our makeup artist on SDS um, was recommending it to me because I have all sorts of weird stomach issues. And she, oh, it's she genius. Said, she said the first time, though, that the person's going to be like, what have you been eating? Right? And, and I'm like, wouldn't... what have I? I'm so sorry. I just wouldn't wish my ass on my worst enemy because, like, oh, just the stuff too. that comes out of my <laughs> own, like, volition. Why, I wouldn't want you somebody looking? to lose oh, it. Because you you you're always talking about how you've got a big behind, and I was no, like, oh, please, but you're actually talking about... No, my about, ass is fantastic. Well, I, I'm all, talking about the... the <laughs> or, all I would say to Iris is, like, that's great. If you if you want to lose weight, just do it in a healthy way. Don't do these, like, ridiculous... It's so true. Yeah, I try, I honestly, I've done, like, every single diet under the sun. You can name anything. And none of them, once you stop, nothing's going to work. No, they're all short. You've just got to change. You've got to do the long way. Yeah. And actually, if you're really serious about it, <laughs> vegan, the vegan one, just being vegan is quite a good, yeah. like... Because it's all leafy Super greens and like, yeah, what? So it's not too bad. Just nice salads Just, and like. You're, you're so delightful. Okay, <laughs> so we have a few more. Uh, to Kelly Dan Q2, uh, eating healthier, being more positive, maybe a whole new career change. Oh wow! Yeah, very nice. That's like a whole exciting. life. Whole that is so oh, exciting. Wow. This is great. I uh, love this feedback. Mm. We got Coco Nust K. Uh, I started to wear vintage and got hired in a good vintage sh shop. Oh, congratulations awesome. on your new job. That's amazing because I can't wear a Giants jersey and then suddenly be on the New York Times. <laughs> uh, Move out, Eli. Yeah, Mike's that's, are coming that's, in. That's, I'm in. Uh, Bonnie Roberts, she wrote Losing Weight, Getting Healthy. I love the fact that all these people are on a positive path. Yeah, uh, investing in their health while we sit here uh, like drinking. drinking. Yeah. I love how nobody's like picked up heroin. <laughs> it's been kind of a weird change, we're not going to lie. <laughs> It's been different. I really do love that no one's writing in saying yeah. that. And oh, that's me odd too. for me because, you know, I'm morbid as hell. <laughs> I don't we think got... it's the losing weight. I think the healthy. Yeah. No, I don't I agree, like it yeah. when everyone's just Oh, my God. I'm weight. on a mission to lose like... weight every day of my life and have been since I was 12, but I'm not doing it nearly as a positive way. <laughs> I feel like the only reason that I'm not slovenly obese is because of my just... What do you poop. do? I have really you, fast metabolism. Yeah. Yeah, a lot. I'm That's the thing in modeling as well. I'm like, why is my metabolism not as fast as these Russian girls? You know what they're like? They're so yeah. they're, they're, they're just spread that way. And some people just... are just spread that way. <laughs> it just takes because... it. We have we have one last one. Uh, Molly McNamee. Hey Molly. Hey Molly. Uh, she wrote, I got certified to be a personal trainer. Congratulations. That's amazing. Can you be at my house tomorrow at seven a.m.? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. See you there. Yeah. By all means, please come and work me out. I used to be an athlete, but under here right now is a sloppy mess. Uh, <laughs> and now I'm completely changing my career path and doing that it's really scary but I think it's what I should be doing. And that's another yeah that's a great point. I think instinct is a really oh, big thing but it can be very difficult to take a sort of separate the, is this nerves, is this actual instinct or is this a, I really want to do this so I'm going to pretend that my instinct is telling me when maybe there's a right. little you know, yeah. thing in the back of your mind saying this is not the great the greatest idea in the world, but definitely trust your instincts. The combination of being scared slash excited the, means you the, should go and do that. Right? Why would you live your life any other way? Why would you live your life in an area where you're like, this is safe, I should just kind of... No, I mean, yeah. t I do understand why people oh, do. do live that way, but it's, yeah, I yes. think if your instinct is different. telling you, and if you are on that great balance of fear and excitement, that it's is the best adrenaline to just go in there and kick ass and whatever you're doing. And say yes to doing. everything as well. She is yeah, Jim even Carrey in modeling, they yes were like, I got a uh, phone call from my agent, they were like, can you skateboard? And I was like, <laughs> yes. Tony Hawk yes to over here, of course I can. Say yes to everything, except so well. if you're in Thailand and someone comes up to you and says, hey, can you just take this, uh, this brown paper bag to, uh, yeah, to Bali? Maybe don't say yes to that. Have that you? Sounded like a very specific yeah. story. <laughs> Have you not watched or... Banged Up Abroad? No. Oh, oh we can genius. talk later. We can, I think it's just a kind of UK Broke down palace Aussie I have thing. Seen, and oh. uh, and uh, cannabis queen or marijuana or whatever. Or even woman. just cannabis queen. Or even... she got she got drugs put in her backpack. Oh. And and got uh well and is now serving twenty. Years. Sounds like she's been on Twitter. So she's like it's definitely she's something. Like it's called Corby. something else. It's it's actually a fantastic documentary on HBO. So well, I, that sounds. Me the title. That sounds like it was based on Chappelle Corby. Who 
is an Australian. We actually have like nine Australians in jails overseas right now for drug smuggling. Nine of them are working as like a heroin ring, and they're all like most of them are facing death penalty. And then Chappelle Corby smuggling marijuana, <laughs> twenty years in a Balinese jail. So representing Australia, good job. Nice. So you took a career trajectory that was yeah. not illegal, thank goodness, and that's what's brought you to us here tonight. Tell Yay. us about your life, sort of pre and and post top model. Ooh, well, pre-top model, I was meant to be going to study theatre at college. So that was a big decision for me to be like, Is that the oh, official not... hand sign of theatre? I don't know what it is. Like I feel like it's kind of, now. hello, okay. I've arrived into the theatre world. And you also, um, you mentioned before we went live that uh, vet science was something that really interested you as well. <laughs> yeah, when I was a little bambino, I wanted to be a vet. I just, of course, I, I left my phone <laughs> at my other job, and so I don't have it, so I couldn't live tweet this to you guys. So Sophie's like, I wanted to be a vet. And Rob was like, I wanted to be a mermaid. <laughs> <Man. Man. laughs> it was the best behind-the-scenes moment. Uh, I know, it's yeah. not a fucking vet. Bang that guy after that statement. I'm yeah. here. <laughs> Hashtag get Rob on camera. So you wanted to be an actress. So yeah, so my, my veterinary days were over when I realized you had spent eight years in college and that was a little bit too long. And you got to stick so your hand up. So then it turned into to... right, I wasn't going to be going near any of that. And then I think I just really wanted my parents to have worked in television. So I used to have to go after school and go to the set and sit in the gallery and kind of watch everything. And I was so, I was like, oh, I want to do it. So when I was a kid, they used to let me read the auto cue and stuff for the news. So oh, it's me being like fantastic. five years old, like, and Iran is doing this. And everyone's you like, oh, isn't she a doll? Oh my God, that's the cutest thing I've ever heard. heavy news. So, and 70,000 so people now were the typhoon is As a five-year-old child. <laughs> and was, were your parents supportive, as soon as they already worked in the industry? They were. They, thank God. They were so supportive. And I think that's important to surround yourself with kind of friends and family that don't yeah I know it sounds awful but you can have those kind of passive aggressive friends oh I don't know if you guys yeah ever had them they're like oh really that cut you know just a little I still bit. have just, them now kind you of need to cut it's yeah. like you gotta have, I, to I, have I have friends that are not in the industry that have a very specific what view of specific how my view? career totally. should go and what I should be involved in and they're like listen I think this is bad for your career oh, oh do you gentlemen that has read us weekly Support twice <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, you just need the support from everyone, right? I mean, I think that's then, great because like, I have to admit, like, my biggest night. Well, I've got two biggest nightmares when it comes to having kids. One is having them, and the other is them actually coming to me and being like, "Mom, I want." Well, calling me mom as well instead of mom. mom. Yeah, mom, mom, mom. <laughs> mom, I, you know, I want to be a host or an actress. In which case, I am going to melt the fuck down. Really? But, oh, yeah. Because I just. I see what my mom has gone through with me and all the disappointments. Yeah. I don't want to see I, my kid go through that. No, I've Not heard. That. I've heard so much. Uh, so much. My so other fear community. is that they'll say, "Mom, I want to go to NYU," and I'm really like, "Well, I haven't won the freaking <laughs> lottery yet. So how's that gonna happen?" <laughs> Sorry, child. Seventy grand a year. Just... <laughs> Sorry, you're off oh. to see you in one. Just start a blog. <laughs> You'll be fine. Just start a blog. See. <laughs> Just start a perfect. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. The weird thing is, I don't get comedians, uh, I, I'm certainly not, I wouldn't be a parent that would push my child into any kind of career path. Well, as soon as they do, like, I used to do tennis at school, and mm. I was so into tennis, and I was like, yeah, I was all right, I was doing quite well, I was like, no, number one on my team, yay! But my dad came and watched a match, and he stood in the gate, and he was like, why aren't you doing better? And he's not like that at all, right. he's the nicest guy, but he'd done, he works in television, so he'd done a late shift, and he was a little bit grouchy, and then after that, I put down the tennis record, I was like, never. Right. <laughs> and I still I'm bring it up. I'm like, you're the reason I'm not at Wimbledon. You know, <laughs> See, I, you I know like, living in England all those years, you could have just gone to I Wimbledon. I know, I could have watched my gate crash. I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have to move on to question three. Okay. Um, so what is your biggest, this is question three, gang, what is your biggest struggle in school or on the job? This could be something that you're currently going through or it could be something that you went through and overcame, if so elaborate and tell us how. Um, if not, maybe what you're going through is something that one of us or all of us can mm. shed some light on and help you in some small way. So Twitter is, see I'm saying Twitter now instead of Twitter. Twitter! <laughs> so it is at underscore hello style. Use the hashtag hello style live or of course right here underneath this video. Yeah, uh, should we do another never have yeah, a Yeah, Sophie. Uh, yeah, I like this one. one. Okay. Well, okay. now it's yours. Why is it, what do oh, I you have to come up with something that you... <laughs> yes! I love this girl more and more with every passing second. This is she has an accent, she's fun, she's bubbly, she's pretty, and she doesn't know how the game works. I know. I it's mean, very confusing. You keep using too many just, words. So you cheers to you again. Yeah. Another cheers! So you say a thing that you've never done. And if we have and, done it... Then, then we drink. <laughs> oh, gosh. But try and okay. make it specific to what we're talking about. So maybe a career thing or school. Like, never have I ever... Um. So, never have I ever given... <laughs> no. 
on. <laughs> I don't know quite how much is going. It's very confusing. Never ever the I don't, Never. Trying to, I, on, I, I don't know what you're trying. I don't. I mean, I don't even understand the game. Let alone what, what, what is your, What have you never given up on? I've never given up on my dream. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether to drink or vomit. I know. Or, right? I, I think a bit of both. Uh, well, like, I guess oh, I gave God. up on my dream of being a professional basketball player. Being, so. Yeah, but, uh, that's true. I gave up my on my dream of being an international spy. So that was good. And I gave up my dream on being a vet. I mean, that was just a shameless excuse for us all to <laughs> take a swig of this Sauvignon Blanc. This game is Rob, really just... And now we need a refill. So, Rob, why don't you come on come over Rob, here? Come oh, here. yeah! He almost did it! Woo, Rob, he almost yeah. did it! I was going to drink something that never became a moment. Listen! Oh. <laughs> if anybody heard that, that, that voice from off-camera, I mean, did that not just melt your soul like a solid R&B song? That was just so <laughs> romantic. Like Usher, but with a lot less cheating. Um, okay, so Sophie, we have a look at how look at this cover. I mean, I don't really need a refill, but you know, we'll go for it. When in Rome, when at Hearst Tower in New York City, here you go. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, let's not get these mixed up. Because <laughs> then it's like we Rob, kissed. just remember so the pill. So while that happens over remember here, remember which one you dropped the pill in, Rob. <laughs> That's mine. Isn't that That's one. Woohoo! Party. Okay, so Sophie, we do have a lot of uh, viewers who aren't old enough to participate in these drinking uh -huh. games. But by all means, if you have a never have I ever for the three of us, send yeah. it in. Take and, water uh, shots along with us. I like to never have I ever. I, I used to not drink. I used to not drink in high school, so I would uh, carry around a carton of orange juice all the time and uh, at parties and just uh, that that was my drinking game. I just had this well, image of you with like a backpack on with <laughs> like an orange juice platypus coming in. Like, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, wheatgrass shots, milk, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Red Bull's good. Red Bull. If you want to get power. Power. Anyway, what I'm trying to say, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that we have a lot of viewers um, that are, you know, 13 to probably not my age, because uh -huh. how many 80-year-olds really watch YouTube or even know how it works? Um, but about 30, 13 to 25, and I think sort of internationally, across the board, a big issue for girls of that age, and a lot of guys, I would assume as well, is body confidence, body image. Yeah. So as a model and as someone who is just vibrant and seems like they've never had a day of self-doubt in their life, what advice, which I'm sure is not true, but you just hide it well, <laughs> what is your advice across the board for all of your fans and our two? <laughs> no. Our seven um, diehard fans. Yes. Um, because we recently found out that one fan is actually two people. No you name. Know who you are? So yeah. You do know who you are. Stop <laughs> yeah. me with your other Twitter so, handle. So our eight fans went down to seven. But uh, so I'm sitting what, there with high self-esteem, thinking I have eight fans. <laughs> Little did I know, it's only seven. <laughs> So what advice do you have um, for our viewers who are grappling? And we just, we just witnessed it because so many of them uh, wrote in yeah. saying that they yeah. want to improve well, that, their... Well, that's what so many of you wrote in. So you are not alone. Whatever you are thinking, everyone else around you, all your friends, everyone's been through it. Everyone's thought about it. Everyone's... You know what I mean? I think you, you can feel so isolated and be like, oh, God, I hate my thighs. I hate this. I hate that. But... It, everyone has self doubt. It's like in programmed into us. Yeah. If that's a word. Well, it's, like, it's I don't know why. It's just part of like yeah, and especially the society we live in now with like social media and everything. Ugh. Just Instagram, like all these. Even I've got a secret for you. All these bloggers out there. So you know they hire sounds awful professional photographers to kind of do the photos, right? And then they'll airbrush them. So even the bloggers that you're following that are meant to be your everyday like reality person, you're like oh you know they're still changing how they yeah. how they look and. Well, I mean, why? Why? why, why I, I, to make us feel like, worse. Although I, I, think, feel worse. I, I think the, all three of us have kind of uh, turned crippling self-doubt and like maybe yeah, things that have happened to us that were not so positive. And I, I've made this comment before to people that have maybe given us a hard time for talking about sensitive issues. And I'm like, we don't joke about stuff that we haven't been through. So yeah, like, exactly, if we're making jokes exactly. about stuff that is maybe a little risque or I, I want to name my borderline offensive. Album. Like your crippling, your album. crippling you self. Released, oh. No, I want to. A, a crippling self doubt, but unbelievably self righteous. I think that's a great. That's like, how I get through life. And his memoir is shame under a stairwell. <laughs> yeah. The Mike Cannon story. If you were watching two weeks ago with uh, I Heart Erica. So, uh, do we have some fancies to question? Oh, we sure do. Uh, we have uh, question three. three. Biggest struggle in school or life? Yeah. That college kiss. Um, she wrote, balancing blogging, I keep saying she, I apologize, it might be a guy, 
uh, and uh, I have to apparently refresh again. But um, it wrote balancing blogging and college. So much work goes into both. Oh, my yeah. friend has that. She has a full-time job, social media, doing a big company, like a big um, a designer company, and she's also a blogger. And you just have to just hold it through and just work super, super hard. And now she's in the position where her blog is overtaking. Yeah. So she can now work for herself. But if you can just knuckle down and yeah. just... You know, I mean, well, it's, 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 your, completely, it's, it's completely worth it to set it yourself really up is. and really do something that you love in the in college. Even though that you know other people are going out and wasted, having a good time, whatever. Yeah. You want to knuckle up and, like and you said, just, in the yeah, long run, you're the long gonna run, be the one laughing. Like, job. I'm sorry, what are you doing? Yeah, you yeah. then have a job that you yeah. love as opposed to just being some other, you know. Some cubicle person just beaten but down. But also by with the blogging world. and stuff, it doesn't necessarily just be like <laughs> I'm just fashion to or like. <laughs> no, I know the stories that you used to tell from the office. Like I, I met, once made a joke to you where I'm like, "Is it ever?" Because he was in IT, and it was like, I said to him, "Is it ever a situation where it is a very simple turn the computer on and dead set?" Like, I know. Uh, I had yes. a woman say, uh, "How do I, how do I turn this on? Where, where's the on button?" To this computer. Amazing, right? She was there for five years, and I go, oh, you know, it's the same button that you know it's been since the introduction <laughs> to computers. Same one. You know that fucking much, power like... button. I get angry now. I'm not even at the job oh anymore. Like, you know that power button. Incredible. So anyway. But yeah, no, I yeah, definitely. I mean, I, when I showed up today, I was a little flustered. I was late because I just started a, a job. And she so... just got promoted. I did. I got, I got, I got, I got promoted today. Um, kind of. But. Uh, <laughs> But uh, yeah, I was a little flustered when I arrived, so I, I hear you about the the juggling, but I think it's worth it in the long run. Okay, yeah. so let, let let me get to the to these answers because it's 7:45. We gotta keep moving. Yes, we do. Right, gang? I just read that directly off the iPad. <laughs> um, so Bonnie <laughs> Roberts wrote, uh, "Not getting a mind block during tests slash interviews from nervousness." That's oh yeah, yeah. yeah. All I right, get so yeah, everybody shut up. Everybody shut up. We have to keep moving. I <laughs> um, uh, Let's like just preface this, but obviously, like we are pressed for time because we have three big personalities. Well, we always have, you know. But anyway, so um, we will be reading these over the next couple of days, weeks. Give us oh yeah. Time, and we will do our best to give you advice. That is kind of what we're here for. So if we probably can't. Lindsay and I like, are extremely narcissistic, so we visit these videos quite a bit yes, and respond do. to comments. <laughs> not even going to pretend that that's not true. Uh, so ne next one, cleanser. A boss that didn't act like a boss swept big issues under the carpet. I was the skivvy and treated unfair. Now that's just not on. Skivvy is really? like the scapegoat. But everyone's yeah, but everyone's gone through it. Like I've had friends that have like started off in films and stuff, and you start right at the bottom and you can get treated so badly and really just a front. Any kind of front or anything you can think of, whether you have to go behind his back and be like, you yeah. And then go, hi, yes, your cup of tea. Scream but into everyone a Everyone starts, even the people right at the top, even like all the actors, anyone, they've all started from down here. Of course, yeah. So uh, next one we have uh, Michaela Moss. I mean, if you're Kim Kardashian, that's very literal. She, <laughs> that's amazing. Uh, <laughs> Michaela Moss. Oh, wrote, the kids voice, Michaela Moss. <laughs> uh, I am currently in school. My biggest struggle is dealing with people's criticism and people's negativity towards me. Uh, let me tell you, that's never going to end. Because people are consider. I'm no, but sorry. It's just it's worse for everyone. motivational mic. Yes, and it's jealousy as well, Michaela. Yeah. They're probably jealous. Honestly, it's oh, the I, worst. Oh, absolutely. Trait I was gonna give a positive spin on that. I wasn't gonna just leave you out there. It's, it's never gonna. Well, end. I was it's attacking you already because yeah, no. you're very passionate about it. It isn't gonna end. But what gets better is you. The the situation and 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 atmosphere doesn't get better. But your ability to deal and cope and kind of figure out you know ways to make yourself think positively will continue to get better. So this is a perfect time for you to receive this because you're still in college, you're still very young, and you can then learn how to do, approach that as an adult. And you that was beautiful. Who you that was beautiful. That was so beautiful. I, 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 like a... I genuinely just harnessed God. I have a, All right, I have a so like Oprah. Maya Rose, uh, 88, oh, I love that she name. wrote caddy slash gossipy co-workers, those who yeah. whisper behind your back. Oh, yeah. It's jealousy. A lot of it boils down to jealousy. and they, here's, People don't want other people to succeed, and it's a horrible trait. Here's my advice, uh, kind of piggybacking off of what you said. I mentioned earlier in the show about how those exact type of co-workers were exactly why I'm sitting here in New York City right now and not suffering under their ridiculousness back home yeah. in Sydney. So my advice, make your haters your motivators, because then you've got a big in oh, your face. Hey, make your haters hate your motivators. motivators. It's like it's supposed to be on a t-shirt. Hashtag Lindsay, you are white. 
<laughs> I think we uh, we have an exclusive Hello Style video. We do. So basically, our producers who are amazing and far more dedicated than Mike and I, because they actually went out on the cold streets of New York City to ask. Okay, so New York. I mean, if you haven't been, you should definitely come visit. Uh, it is a it's a crazy, crazy town. It definitely draws a very you definitive, eclectic, like, eclectic, and diff I think a very, a very specific type of person. People who are very ambitious. Uh, people who, for whom failure is not an option. And there's mm. something very sweet about making New York City your bitch. There's also something really <laughs> awful about being broke in this godforsaken place. So our wonderful producers went and hit the streets on our behalf to find out from New Yorkers, the best people in the goddamn world, if you ask me, uh, what their advice is for career success. So let's take a look. Because so the women I know uh, that are successful in business, uh, one believe they are equal and treat everyone as equals. Two, they are organized and they have clear goals. And three, they are uh, full of enthusiasm. As a woman starting out in her career, I think one of the most important um, components of advancing your career is finding leaders and mentors to really guide you. If you have the appropriate leadership, it's going to prove very well in your future um, advancement. My mom was a successful working woman. She was organized. She was focused. Uh, she knew that she had to go to work in the morning and come and take care of us in the evening. Uh, my advice to young women in the workplace uh, would be to always be friendly, be personable, and um, just always stick by your instincts. So the way my girlfriend overcame being objectified in the workplace was that she had clear goals and she really set forth effort. Her natural talents prevailed. And they have it. How to succeed in life by a group of rando New Yorkers. All right, let's get into uh, question four. I know we yeah. still have... Um, we have some fancers, but let's... We do. Say, let's let's, let's, let's throw up question yeah. four, and then while you guys are sending those answers in, we will read yeah. the rest. Does that sound like a good plan? That sounds like Look at me with my time management skills. What did I get promoted today? All right, question four. <laughs> Who is it. your style idol for transformation? So Twitter, at underscore HelloStyle. Mm. Use the hashtag HelloStyleLive right here underneath this nice. video. Who is your style idol for transformation? Some of you wrote in Paul and said... Uh, Miley Cyrus? We did We did an entire episode we of did. SVS. Did. Oh, sorry. On the dedicated to catch up. Dedicated <laughs> to her. Um, and yeah, she's definitely a good one to, uh, to look she's for. She's going to come out on top, I'm rather. telling you. Well, she's, she's pretty sure game. she's already there. She's, playing she's, game. she's definitely on top. Um, so so we have some Q3, <laughs> Q3 answers uh, to Woohoo507. Huge fan of that that's name. That's not like us at the top of the I show. Know, that's, that's fantastic. <laughs> I, I, if this doesn't happen sexually, I'm going to be pissed. Um, she wrote, right now it's applying to college. Or he or she. I apologize, Jesus. Uh, right now it's applying to college. Ugh. I have no freaking idea what to do. I hope I did your comment. You don't need service. to, though. Why need yeah. to know what you want to do? Well, just understand, just also, well, in terms it. of I'm sure she means, uh, he or she means uh, the, uh, you know, essay portion, all the application kind of thing. Uh, it, it is, it's a oh. pain in the ass to go through, but just understand that people at your age are also doing it for the first time. So you're not alone. You're not with some savvy 30-year-old veteran that's been All trying to go for the same job. For, yeah, for 20 years. And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> finally figured it out. Right about my brother who's dead. I don't know. Like, that's, yeah. Everybody does it. Just write a good essay. You'll be fine. In memoriam. Lindsay's <laughs> dead brother. No, I'm kidding. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hi, Maddie. I love you. I hope you're well in Australia. <laughs> it's an actual person. Okay. So, fair enough. That is a weird turn, guys. Uh... Harry Frankfurt, which I hope that means you just don't trim your pubes. I hope you just have the hairiest dick on earth. Uh, so anyway, I'm just going to go and say he. He said, staying creative with video ideas and not losing passion and energy. Well, I mean, if we're not, if we're not inspiring you, then I don't know what we can let's, do for let's you. Let's also come to the fact that he is such a sexual <laughs> innuendo man. Oh, Harry Frank, but not Harry Nugget. But he's talking about <laughs> video ideas, so he's trying to shoot his hairy we dick in different that. ways. Well, I'm coming up with his backstory. <laughs> so I, I, please write in whether you're a girl or a guy, but I... I beg oh, of you, be a man that is just shooting weird Vine videos of his insane pubic growth. Like, oh, it's just yeah. dick. It's like, oh, it's Try just it. head. Do we need to confiscate the iPad to move it? I know, bring it to we the got, ladies. We got some, uh, no, we love our fans. And oh, sometimes, we, we, have, we have some fan love. So sometimes they love us back. This is fantastic. Uh, <laughs> fantastic. Sergio <laughs> Catalan. 
uh, wrote at Sophie Sumner, Woo! watching from Spain, you look so beautiful. I love your dress. It's awesome. <gasps> Hola, buenos días. I love you, Sophie. I love you, Sophie. Let's get it. That's dressed. awesome. You got your own hashtag. <laughs> I made it in America, guys. All eight of you. Yes. I'll read this next one for you. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Forever <laughs> Young and Fierce said, Mike, you are hot. Woo! <laughs> Uh, Destiny Z Mina said, I really should be doing my homework. Well, you yeah. know what? That's the beauty of this. You can watch it later, but it's a lot more fun live. Yes, uh, yeah, what are you trying to be? She has a pro oh, my goodness. <laughs> she has a project due tomorrow, but apparently we are too entertaining. Destiny, good luck with your uh, with your project. Hit us up on Twitter, either individually or at Hello Style, and tell us what grade you got. Yeah. <laughs> Let us know. <laughs> I, I can't read the next one. Uh, also, uh, we got uh, Love Watching You Guys. Also, Destiny Z Mina wrote. I already did uh, that one. <laughs> you already did that one. We also got Lock Wood. Wood. Charlie! My beautiful Charlie. Hello. Girl or guy? Girl. Okay. Oh, beautiful, a beautiful oh, I, I actually oh, like, yeah. I like the name Charlie for yes. females. There. I love that's, Charlie. That's, Sexy because you remind me of a guy, but um. So Lockwood <laughs> wrote, "Lindsay looks gorgeous tonight. Love the outfit." Thank you, Charlie. I love Where's you. Where's it from? Where's it from? It's from um, you. This actually, crazily enough, is from I went uh, on a trip to Harvard, not to study. Fuck, are you kidding me? Um, <laughs> and I found it in a little boutique in Cambridge. So who Cute. knew? Boston, maybe the new fashion capital Boston's of the world. Boston's strong, yeah. yeah. All right, we got uh, Destiny Zimina again. Mm -hmm. She wrote, I'm honestly going to fail my English class. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing my project right now. Oh, <laughs> Destiny. <laughs> That's so, so flattering. Yeah, I, I, love, I love how the first one was like kind of like, you know, it's playful. Like, I'm and sure like, it's like, 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 say everyone says like, dog ate your homework or something. So yeah. Just say that we messed up. Oh, yeah, my goodness. Fine. You know what we're going to do? And we'll, and we'll tweet it. And I promise we actually will do this. I hope you guys don't have to be anywhere after this. We are going to write busy. um <laughs> a slip for you saying Destiny could yes. not complete her homework because she was watching Hello Style Live. Love we Lindsay, Mike, and we are going to do that, and we're going to photograph it. We're going to tweet it. So yes, um, I love that. make awesome. sure that we have your Twitter handle. If you can send that in to us, we're going to do that so we can tag you. That's a fantastic idea. All I'm right. full of them. Boom. Um, so have we have any? We have some uh, Q4. Excellent. Some, some fancers to Q4. To Q4. We Style got uh, transformation idol oh, Eugene right. Devoe. Hey Eugene. <laughs> Eugene is. I know Eugene. You just that that enthusiasm. Well, because Eugene the has a written name. So Eugene, Eugene is an androgynous Eugene. fashion blogger. Oh, cool. Yeah. Eugene. It's very nice. Uh, Gwen Stefani style uh, style idols. Gwen Stefani mm. and MIA. I did oh, like yeah. her weird boom, little boom, be boom. her belly bump thing that she did when she performed with. She's pregnant. With... No, and it was she was. <laughs> she's pregnant. I think that ends after nine months. <laughs> but she. Uh, if you're lucky. She was. <laughs> <laughs> or after a week, if you're some girls. But. She... Oh, that's oh. Just <laughs> moving on. <laughs> <laughs> so she dressed up her baby bump in that because performance with Ti. Uh, yeah, everybody's just drinking after Lindsay. First of all, quoted Adolf Hitler. So anyway, <laughs> well, let's let's settle down. Next one, we have a uh, Ministry of Makeup again. Q four. My style icon is Audrey Hepburn. Yeah. Classic and never going out of style. Mm. Absolutely. Who's your agree. style icon? Um, my style icon. Um, I would have to say one of them is Rachel Bilson. Um, yeah. I think she's just. She's got an amazing. She's just, I just think she's really interesting. And I'm I not also just, don't think I could have said that creepier. I know. <laughs> I'm not just saying this because I'm obsessed with um, Harry Potter, but I'm, Emma Watson has been someone who's been really interesting, a fellow Brit. Uh, it's been really interesting for me to watch her sort of she go from like this amazing. pushy head. She 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 and now an style. with the cropped hair, and uh, she recently at the GQ Men of the Year Awards, and, and she, she was in that, that Balenciaga yes. structured white, or black, sorry, crop top and pants, and she just looked phenomenal. So Emma, if you're watching and you like failing what about, what about, what about yeah. for you, Mike? Like, do you look up to other comedians? Like, style a day I think I or... style. I mean, I was going to ask, but I actually <laughs> took it to Lindsay. <laughs> yeah, that or like a but Louis yeah, sure. C.K. Or um, a Sebastian Maniscalco. I would say suits? Sebastian is very uh, well dressed. I would He's say amazing. my style kind of more leans towards. Uh, I guess the Louis or, or somebody like that. I don't necessarily. My problem is I don't necessarily think about how I come off to people. When well, I'm I've seen stage. you perform several times, and I can say you come off like a treat. Oh, I appreciate oh, I'd that. I'd see you again oh, if it was free. So Thanks. what do you wear when you get on stage, then? Uh, I wear a lot of t-shirts. I'm, I'm like a t-shirt and jeans guy. No. Yeah. I, I just, I, but I wear a lot of black t-shirts because I'm also a sweater. Yeah. And um, <laughs> also, it, it just, it, 
it, it just, that's what I'm comfortable in. I want to perform where I'm the most comfortable, so I'm not, I, I've worn a suit jacket a few times, yeah, and, and it is it really yeah, restricting, exactly. and it feels... it's like going to school or anything. Yeah, and but, but I appreciate the guys that do it, because they do look great. Yeah, it looks like yeah. an old-time, traditional thing to do, but it, there's just, for me to be me on stage, I need to dress like me, so I'm going to dress in a shitty attire. But, you know, Jessie Cantrell, who um, is a fabulous stand-up yeah, comedian, awesome. she backed you up. We had her on for an episode of SVS, and she said exactly the same thing. She's a gorgeous, attractive woman with all the right bits and parts and nooks and crannies and corks and screws and stoves and butts. I didn't get to, <laughs> well, I didn't get to know her that well, but... Um, what about you? I know all of our um, viewers will want to know who your style icon is. I'm, I'm, I'm a real 60s chick, so I'm a big Edie Sedgwick, Twiggy, that oh. kind of Oh. That kind of vibe. That's where I head to. But also, just doing the Hello Street Star thing on the street. Yeah. Every Friday at 3 p.m. Um, you kind of, you generally just meeting people on the street. I become like really attached, and I learn a lot from them. I'm like, like this one girl was wearing this awesome kind of um, nightlife prom dress type thing, but she put a sweatshirt over the top of it, so she had a shirt and skirt combo. I was like, that's genius. It's like uh. day to day. You notice those little tips and stuff, and mm -hmm. I was like. Or learning from your friends, whatever. So, sure. yeah. and I'm just realizing it's, it's dawning on me now. Like, uh, it's maybe the British saying moots because you've got like the cat eyes, but you very much look like a younger, healthier version of Kate Moss. Yeah, I love See, I Kate. I, I, I oh, told Rob I Kira Sedgwick. Oh, I'm stuck to the chair. If I wasn't, my like, um, <laughs> Kira Sedgwick. Yes. I think you should match Kira Knightley with Edie Sedgwick there. Uh, I yeah. love that infusion of talent. I did. Uh, yes. Kira Knightley. Although awesome. Kira Sedgwick, I mean, she got Kevin Bacon and he was. She got sure. Kevin Bacon. Well, uh, Lindsay. Lindsay. <laughs> and Lindsay. he was a pedophile in that movie Sleepers. Lindsay <laughs> turned Jamaican for a moment. All right. Yeah. We, have, we, have, we have a few Q4 style uh, idols. Uh, let's hear it. So Molly Deary wrote Britney Spears. Yeah. So braless. Uh, That's the two, building days. Two Kelly Dan wrote, uh, this is for uh, three, uh, apparently, Q3. Okay. okay, so Selena Gomez. Oh, no. I the, love is, Selena Gomez. Oh. I think this is for style like uh, idols. I'm sorry, confused. I'm dumb. Uh, Selena Gomez, so cute, and she's growing up. I agree. God damn it, she's fantastic. God, I, I and, could um, be sat with a creepy. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, Selena. So cute, and she's growing up. Uh, I and I just canceled <laughs> just... out of that. Uh, I love her new music, too. Come on, you all think so, too. PPS, can you tell I watch Disney and Family Channel much? She's doing I... a great transition, though. Miley Sweet Cyrus, Thomas. hashtag twerk girl. Hashtag Rob twerk on camera. Oh, man, now, dude. do if it. Rob... Yeah. Yeah. You can do it, put your back and do it. Come on, Arnie, I wish you away. could see just the fake bashfulness of this handsome show, We were like talking about earlier, though, with transitions and stuff, and everyone trying to, even like leaving college or high school, sorry, I get confused with all the things out here, and like making a transition. Like, you can do it. You can be, you know, you can reinvent, or you can be whatever you want to, you know. Selena did it. Wiz is a Waverly. She did it, and then Justin icon. did her, and then I lost and all then respect for the girl. <laughs> All right, so we have one more from Harry Frankfurt. Oh, God. Harry! Oh, Woo! Is it Harry it. or Harry? Oh, Harry. no, it really is Harry. I, I Harry. thought you were saying what did Harry. Harry say? No, uh, it is Harry. Harry Dick said, uh, <laughs> Vanessa Barbara must check her style out. Holy cow. I'm assuming Harry is Frankfurt that your is Harry Vanessa or Barbara. Like, who's, yeah, is that uh, your mate, Harry? Well, and I'm a girl. God damn it. <laughs> uh, well. Why? What? It was either why? that or Biscuit Head, and my Just brother why? wanted the G-rated name, so here I am. Biscuit Head? <laughs> How are those the two choices out of any name from the English language? Biscuit Head. Biscuit Head. Also, not very G-rated, because Biscuit stands for pussy. Since what? when? That I, just, is yeah, I, I, I just made that up. Do you want to immigrate yeah, back yeah. to <laughs> the Commonwealth? Because this shit's getting gray. Right. Biscuit is rubbish. What the hell I is did. going on here? <laughs> right. Well, I oh, feel... we, have, we have some random cues for Soph. Yay! Random, random cues for Soph. Let's I know, be I real. Just, I know, I just, have I like a little theme tune to it. Oh, I mean, it's, it's Toad's It'll be the sign of It's like Toad's arms and the, like our fans <laughs> that cookies. have. Anybody <laughs> that isn't having random questions for it's Soph is so <laughs> So anyway, <laughs> uh, at me. Paula Mendoka 5, Hi, Paula. Uh, hope I didn't butcher that, three things you must have in winter. Oh. Oh, a great Parker coat in winter. Mm -hmm. um, black tights. 
I team with anything, day to night look. I mean, I don't know if you're even asking fashion, so maybe she not. She is, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh fashion, um, and a cute little kind of leopard print hat. Because leopard print's in, but also Adorable. it goes everything. You've got a little black, you know, you can have the little yeah. leopard print hat. I think that looks super cute. cute. A little yeah. pop of style. I, I'm going to go on a limb and say that is glamour approved. That is glamour oh, approved. Oh, I'm like right an accepted. Oh, you are. You're yeah. part of the family. After <laughs> this, we'll, like, we'll uh, you know, get some blood and become, you know. Soul sisters. Make yes. it really. You guys don't want my blood. <laughs> Uh, no, so anyway. me and Taylor did it all oh, back, so, we're... so I just at got Aphrodite's that. Heaven. Hey, Aphrodite's Heaven. Good to hear uh, from you again. Wrote dealing with binge eating disorder. Any suggestions? Um, I'm also oh. dealing with the same thing. No, I'm being serious because I eat very healthy for like four to five days a week, yeah. and then on the weekends the fucking wheels come off. It is. Ugly. Much like this show. I'm not, yeah, well, I mean it, and, and my no, best... No, it's, it's a very common thing. Like, yeah. everyone's kind of... I'm terrible for for quite a while. I would just... I was so busy in the day. It was like, coffee, 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 and then I get to dinner, and I'm like, I'm starving. I just need to eat everything, and it's not healthy. Don't be afraid to have, like, a good... I know everyone says it, but my um, the head of my modeling agency was, like, five small meals a day. Yeah. If you can just do that, and you have to... It takes a while. You have to, like, retrain your body and retrain yourself, but... It, I will tell you also that juice... Like, I, I just had a kill juice. The, the juice cleanses it's, are good. It's terrible no. the tasting, but it does do the job in terms of filling you up. Yeah. And not only that, like, it fills you up physically, but it makes you feel better. Yeah, exactly. It, it, it's just breaking a cycle. Everything's a cycle. But I yeah. think it's also you know developing I mean? it's a like healthy relationship between you food and, yeah. and food, which can be very, not very hypnosis. tricky. hypnosis. And have a cheat day. Please, yeah. because yeah, that's if you, the thing. Never, as so, soon as you start saying, "I'm not going to have cake," yeah. "I'm not going to have chocolate," your brain's going to go, "Chocolate cake, chocolate cake." Exactly, chocolate cake. Yeah. and and also, if you don't know this, but if you if you eat carbs, that that trains your body to want more carbs and yeah, need exactly. more carbs, so you crave these things that you eat when you eat them. So if you stay strict for six days and you have your day where you enjoy yourself and do whatever you want to do. That's fine. But that's why if, if you're going through you like saying. a really bad patch, you don't quite know what to do. That's why like I know I don't say that juice cleanse is the best thing you can do, but if you can just do it for like three days, it kind of relevels everything, and you don't crave what you. See, it kind of resets it, I, your body yeah. a little bit, and then you go back into. I just do it as a it's meal a substitute. It's almost like a yeah. protein shake where it's just like, all right, I'll eat this thing. It's like a salad. And surround yourself with and people as well. There's nothing worse than that friend that's like, yeah, you want to get McDonald's like three in the morning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is, I have. I love those, those friends. friends. I pretty much am that friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not really. So we have one last one. Uh, X Darlene. Two things you must have in your wardrobe. Oh, a leather jacket. Must be in my wardrobe. A leather jacket and um, this season a pink coat. Oh, that's right. I, I, I read, read the pink coat. I read in a different magazine from Cosmo that um, it, the <gasps> pink coat, I know. Buy me now, people. Um, yeah, the it's pink, still hers, pink coats are very, yeah. <laughs> Yes. Uh, yeah, the pink coat is really in. And a leather jacket my day, is never going to go oh, on trend God. as well. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Summer, winter, anything genius. Yeah. And over the knee boots. Oh, Ooh, I just wanted a pair. They just, oh, I just broke the rule. Just broke, the rule. Sh- broke the rule. From um, just from a show like, online, you know Rachel Zoho, she's the creator. Yes, yeah, yeah she's she the like Boho hippie stuff. I haven't actually had a chance to open them and make sure I like them or that they fit yet, but I'm very excited. And I promise that on uh, Google Plus for our Hello style, she'll wear them. I will um, just well, them. I'm like da, a couple da, weeks da, behind. Da, da. No, because like, a couple of weeks ago it was boots, and I was like, oh, when I get these boots, I'll. Sure, and that was three weeks ago, and I haven't even opened the damn box. So I promise I'm on it. I don't get how women buy things and don't wear them immediately. If I buy something, I'm wearing it. I haven't even day. opened it to yeah. wear Weird. it. I'm a busy girl. Yeah. How often do you actually shop then to do this? Uh, not very I'm a busy exactly. girl. So I mean, when you do, you're like, woohoo, new I'm stuff. I'm in therapy yeah. five days a week for about ten hours just to suck myself up to come and do this show with you. <laughs> so it kind of takes up a lot of my time. Fair point. All right. All right. So, well, you know. let's, uh, I think that's... Well, let, why don't you wrap it up with the, the call out to Guys, social media? And... This has been a delight. And uh, thank you to our VIP fans and fans alike just for writing into this. This has been great, right? Yeah, We've had so a lot much of, fun. Thank you a lot so of much interaction. It's been really fantastic. Lovely. And if you want to become a VIP fan, please just like consistently tweet us, tweet Hello Style, tweet Hello Style Live, all this stuff. Just kind of become involved in the situation, and we will induct you into our Force. Yeah. Get it to the <laughs> point where we're almost about to get a restraining order on you, and then you're in. It's almost as exclusive as, as exclusive as the Illuminati. We will take blood from you. We'll have it on. 
you know. I like and we'll have Beyonce join you later and over like that. <laughs> It'll be great. But guys, seriously, thank you so much. It's been yeah, great. Yeah, it's anyway, amazing. Subscribe to Hello Style. I'm sure you already are if you're watching this. But uh, check out Sexy vs. Kanky every yes, Tuesday at 3 p.m. Tomorrow. Check it's, out uh, Hello Street, Street Style. Style. Yes. Three on a Friday. Also, um, oh, do you want to give your Twitter and Instagram? A sure, plug? yeah, yeah. All of my things are uh, at I am Mike Cannon because some shit dick has oh, at someone Mike Cannon. Me too. Assholes. Well, I'm going to thank my mom for calling me a really weird name, spelled even weirder, because uh, no one had mine. So Twitter and Instagram at Linz Rodriguez. Pretty simple. And Sophie? I'm at Sophie Sumner 8, because somebody <laughs> took that Sophie. Somebody took her age. Somebody no, took the first know. seven. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even get one, two, three for it to keep going, so I got eight. <laughs> so make sure you're watching uh, Sexy vs. Genki tomorrow at 3 p.m. Glamour is our special guest. We're breaking down tried, uh, what is it? No, dried uh, out. Ha Halloween. <laughs> yeah. Classic. Yeah, ha Ooh, Halloween played out. I knew there was like some weird American. Yeah, I'm gonna watch that. I need some good tips. Played out Halloween costumes tomorrow, 3 p.m. with Glamo. Make sure you tuned in on Friday, 3 p.m. for Sophie's next edition of Hello Street Style, and of course on uh, Thursday. And we all know that you love Chloe and the Beauty Babies and the sm uh, sorry, the Beauty Babies and the Beauty Smarties showdown <laughs> from 17. I'm butchering this the way you butcher our fans' names, but I know that you love all the girls from 17. Gosh darn it, we do. So they're gonna have a Twitter party. A on Twitter party. <laughs> Deliberately didn't say to my normal that accent. What is that even meant to be? I, what? That's what you mean. I'm Lindsay slash a pirate. <laughs> Punchy pirate. So <laughs> Thursday, two till three p.m. They are having a Twitter. I can't, I can't. Twitter. A Twitter party. They're having a Twitter party. Make sure you're following us at underscore Hello Style for all of the details. And if you can't get enough of these Google Plus Hangouts, there'll be another one next Monday night with 17 Beauty Smarty Chloe, who's adorable. And it's a really huge, amazing guest that she's got. And when I say huge, I mean she's a phenomenon, not that she is big. <laughs> YouTube beauty guru, Miss Glamorazzi. Now, she's got over 1 million followers on YouTube. Bam, bam, bam. So, you know, Chloe is doing something right by getting her on board. So, make sure you're following that um, next week. And we'll be back in two weeks' time for another one of these. Now that we've got the new set, let's keep trying to edge out the competition and make this a nightly thing. <laughs> Look yeah, yeah, Brian, we're coming for you. Stay sexy, not skanky, everybody. Good night.